All right, let's see what's in here. Okay, LED bulb. Um, I was getting some more lights for my studio here, for my, well, my lab lighting. I suppose you can call them studio lights, can't you? Um, so I'll get this. This is, I think that was a, I think it was 20 watt, I can't remember. Might be wrong. Doesn't seem to give a hint. I don't know what they were now. Got two of those, same ones. Got of those, and I don't know what this is. It's had a big lamp as well. I thought this is looks like it's got a nice. Doesn't weigh very much. I think looks like it's got a nice um, broad lighting surface. Doesn't weigh very much. There's hardly anything in it. It's just it's going to come apart at all. Nah, it doesn't feel like it. But there's no heat sinking on that. It's supposed to be 20 watts or something. Or just... 24 watts it's supposed to be, I think it was. Yeah, based on the feel feeling of this, so I highly doubt it. Um, I thought you had done. I think I've got a way of plugging this in to test it. No, I don't. So I can't even test it on camera to show you what it's like. Um, I suppose I'll have to figure out something. And so, but um, yeah, I'm I'm very skeptical about this particular light. These lights, yeah, those feel really good. These are, these are actually heavier than these, um, and these are very similar to what I'm already using up in the lights. I've got a couple of smaller ones of spots, but I recently put in a big 27 watt LED. Um, which I purchased locally, not from AliExpress or anything like that. And that's actually been really good, it's quite bright. Um, I mean, it's a bit too bright. So I might even go back to one of these, but I was going to see what this one's like. Um, I don't trust it at all. Can I get this thing open? I can see a gap. Let's try and get this thing open. There must be a way. Let's get a bad pair of tweezers. Gap there. Can we lever it? Oh, yeah, there we go. Here we go, we're in. Alright, there it is. So, stand only in panel. panel. How many LEDs on that? I'm not even going to count them, but yeah, you can see there's not much to it. Only in a plate, a dropper, power supply, you know, probably a standard little basic Chinese thing that you can always get. Um, yeah, 27 watts I highly doubt. And since there's no heat sinking or, you know, it's just the panel, which isn't even screwed in. Why well, haven't even screwed it in? And we got a screw there. Oh, look, there's a screw there right there. Really? Is that like it? What's that actually doing? Nothing. I haven't even put the screw in. I think it's supposed to go in like there. Something like that. Let me screw it together. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is going to be a nice little interesting time. It's got so it's got a three pad, three screw holes there, four there. Can I just line up to those? No. So it's not even designed for this bloody housing, which is plastic, and this is. Oh, that's a good question. Actually, what is that? That's not polypropylene. It's not. That's an olefin. It's not ABS. It's almost like it's polyethylene. Well, it's a really soft polypropylene because I can scratch it. it shouldn't be, you know, it's polypropylene. You shouldn't scratch with your fingernail. Uh, I need to find a way of powering this up so I can show you. Um, I've got no way of doing it. I've got nothing here I can use. 
that's annoying. Anyway, you see it in your size, like, you know, it's bad. I really like to figure that out, but I'm going to put that screw in and come back. Okay, I've got it back together. What's this thing? I don't remember what this is. I really don't have a clue. Um, okay. I'm pretty sure this isn't mine. Okay then. Um, I don't have a clue what this is. Um, it's obviously some kind of phone mount or something with a bracket for. for um, like handlebars or something, but that doesn't even snap in there. Is it supposed to snap in? It doesn't want to go right in. Um, this isn't for me, this is for somebody else who hasn't obviously got the order. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Let's see. Oh, finally. It took three weeks to arrive, thanks to NZ Post being useless and not delivering things that are supposed to come to me. Just a couple of little phone batteries. Nothing too exciting. Just for um, cordless phones. Um, yeah, just two of them, not that exciting really, um, I'm not going to test them, 800 milliamp hours apparently, 2.4 volt, yeah, they are what they are, not that interesting, in here, oh, another swivel mount, yeah, you might remember I've already purchased one of these before, and I got another one because I thought I could um, mount one on the tripod and mount one on here as well. Just to, there's some options here. I've got one, and I thought oh, I'll get two. They're not bad little mounts. We'll see. Here we go. Um, time will tell if they stay resilient enough or whether they wear and cause issues with slipping us or sort of stuff. But right now, it actually, you know, feels pretty good. So, um, There'll be links down below for these anyway, I'd love for you to check those out. Let's see what's in here. Oh look, more bulbs. I might have gone a bit overboard buying bulbs, because I needed some bulbs and I think I might have got carried away. Um, again, I wish I had a test mount I could put this into. Um, so I could then actually test the bulbs. This actually feels fairly heavy. Oh, that spins. I'm probably not sure that's a good thing. Um, I can see a little power supply in there. You can see the yellow plastic tape, just like there was in that big lamp. These things all look very similar. This bottom piece looks almost the same as that. But um, Yeah, I don't know. Is it any good? Maybe. I hope the focusing is okay on this camera, I'm not sure I've got it optimised properly yet, but um, yeah, I can't believe it's supposed to be now, it says 20 watts, okay, so um, I've got a place to put this actually, so I shall, um, when they're life fitting in one of the other rooms, so I'll drop that in and see how it goes, see how bright it ends up being, but it doesn't look too bad for now, I'll jump it back in the box. If I can set up a uh, test fitting, I'll come back and do some testing on these and measure the wattage stuff like that. But right now, I don't have anything. So these are both the same. Cool. Let's see what's in here. Try and see what's in here. Come on. All right. I really need to change the blade on this thing. 
it's getting a bit ridiculous really. I needed this. It's a um, wow, that is really wonky. It's a blade for a um, tool, a uh, an oscillating saw. Is it wonky or is it just me? No, it's slightly wonky. Um, yeah, got I. Broke a blade on it and um, I need to replace it. So, this is a cheap replacement. I think it was about $10 or something like that, $15. And the original ones in the shop is about $30. Um, so, this is not an original, but um, well, we'll see if we go. It doesn't get that much use, but it's one of these things where you play, break the blade, you need it to work. Let's see what's in here. Ah, I think I know what this is. This is suspiciously like a phone battery. And it is. So this is a battery for a iPhone 5C. Um, obviously not Apple original, it's an aftermarket thing. But um, when you need them, you need them. So let's wrap it around it for some reason. Slide it off. Yeah, so yeah, the battery in my son's phone, which used to be my wife's phone for a period of time, it's now his, he's had it for a while, um, it's dying, so it'll just it'll last for like half an hour to an hour and then it'll just turn the phone off, it just goes flat really quickly. So it's had enough, so here we go, new battery. Right, let's see what's in here. Oh, oops. It's a camera bag with a new ventilation slot. So what it's it's adjustable, change the sizes in here, fit what charger and batteries and bits and pieces like that in here for the camera. So when I'm not using it I can store it away in here. Nothing but gaffer tape I fix. What's in this one? Um, a couple of extension cables, the 3.5mm cables. Um, I need one for when I'm working on the computer for the headphones. So I don't have to sit really close. So a couple. Needed one, so I've got two. See ya. Now these are some longer ones. Same thing. Um, those ones are fairly short. What size of these does it say? I think there's one metre ones. And these ones here were 50 centimetre, I think. Yeah, those are half metre. These are one metre. So, and this one. A whole bunch of uh, female headers. I had, I think they had like two left or something like that my Arduino projects, so got a bunch more. Yeah, nothing particularly exciting about those, got a bunch of them, so it's a bit wasteful having them individually packaged like that, isn't it? No packaging. Anyway, can't do much about that. 
What's in this one? Now, I got this for use with the road and swartz, but I'm not sure it's exactly the right card. It's a card bus card, apparently. Mm -hmm. But it's a PCMCIA video card reader, so I should be able to put in a SD card in here, standard full size SD card, or a micro and an adapter. I should then be able to plug that into the own source. Let's have a look and see if this looks like it will go in. So this card will plug into the own source. So it's got two slots. Right, so I've got this but an SD card and this I could trip it use this on the, on that for transferring data between that and the computer and stuff. If I need to get files off it. Right, what's in here? A roll of uh, fabric tape for wrapping wires. I did do uh, one previously in a different mailbag, I think. Um, not long ago, anyway. With some wider stuff with this, so you can wrap wires with this and help protect them from abrasion or other things like that if you need them. Stick fabric tape on something. This is out of the cloth tape which I had in the previous mailbag, and um, there. It's good as new. So thank you very much to my Patreon supporters, um, much appreciated. If you're interested in supporting me to help me buy items for mailbag or projects to work on, you know, bits of test equipment to repair, that kind of thing, any money that goes, goes towards that is helpful because it is expensive buying test equipment to do repairs on, especially if I'm not actually going to be using it that much or it's something I could do without. Or, you know, as in most cases, you can do without things. Um, so having a Patreon supporters and people that donate to me via PayPal is, is very helpful. So if you're interested in helping support me and um, you know contribute to the channel, um, then please check out my Patreon page, my PayPal donation options, which are down in the description down there. Click on the Show More tab, this is down there. So um, thank you very much for not supporting me, and or even giving more support. You know, give, getting some comments is also good as well. Comments in the videos, prefer positive comments and negative ones. If you do want to be, you know, give constructive criticism, then please do. Um, I do want to hear what people find annoying or whatever, but do it in a nice way. I don't want to hear shitty comments because that's just not good for anyone. It just makes me not want to do it anymore. But that's not something I want to go to. I enjoy making videos, enjoy showing what I'm playing around with, and um, I've certainly been stepping up what I've been doing um, over the time I've been doing the videos. So um, it was just originally I was going to video bits of what I'm doing at the time. I was, you know, if I'm working on something I'll do a video of that and slap it up, which was going to be rather random and erratic. And I've ended up basically turning my life into doing YouTube videos and buying things and trying to create content to keep you guys entertained. Um, so yeah, if you want to support me that's great. Um, of course that certainly be appreciated because this is an expensive hobby. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. Click the bell icon. Bye.